Hey everyone, it's Brittany from Even If Candle Company. And in this video, I wanted to show you why I choose Shopify over Etsy. Let's get started. So when I first started out a couple years ago, a little over two years now, uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted this to be a business. I wasn't really having that mindset at the time. I was kind of just in that hobby mindset. Um, you know, I loved making the candles. I loved the wax melts. And then, you know, of course, now I make the room sprays as well. Um, and so when you, when you first start out, you're not really sure what to do. So you kind of stick to what a lot of people do. Uh, so I used Etsy and Etsy is a huge platform. Uh, just millions and millions of people use Etsy. Um, and then later on, I realized that it wasn't for me and I switched over to Shopify and had my own website instead. So I wanted to go over just a few reasons that I jotted down here on why I choose Shopify over Etsy. So one reason is because of the transaction fees. It is more cost effective in my opinion and for where my business is now to use Shopify. So one of the fees that Etsy charges is a listing fee. When I was using it, and I believe it's still the case, is 20 cents a listing, which doesn't seem like a lot to someone when you hear 20 cents. Uh, you can find 20 cents in your couch cushions, but it starts adding up. Uh, so the way Etsy does it is you put up a listing, they charge you the 20 cents, and then if you run out of that inventory for, let's say I had three um, in Eden candles up as one listing, uh, once those three ran out, I would be recharged at 20 cents if I wanted to add more inventory to that. So I had to, I had to remember to make it basically more inventory than what I had. So I wasn't always being charged that 20 cents for the same listing. Um, and also, of course, it charges you per cent on what you're, you're selling. Um, so I found that that really added up. On top of the 20 cents per listing, they also charge a 6.5% transaction fee. That actually was, it was a little lower when I first started out on Etsy. I think it, I think it was in the 5% range uh, when I first started. Um, but then it went up to six and a half. And that's when I was like, wow, like maybe I should reconsider Etsy and move on. So when you're a small business owner or a hobbyist, the last thing you want is a, all these transaction fees and all these listing prices. They add up very quickly. And then for Etsy payments, they take an additional 3% and 25 cents. So I just didn't feel that Etsy was right for me anymore, especially once those fees went up. So for the Shopify basic plan, you can get $29 per month if you pay the annual. Uh, so I found that that was way more cost effective. Just how my mind works is okay. Like this $29 fee a month just made sense with the amount that I was selling. Um, so like I said, this is all what works best for me now in my business. Uh, you might be in a completely different situation where you're just, you know, you're a hobbyist and you're like, yeah, I have a few items I would love to show and sell. So I think Etsy is perfect for that. There is one thing that I actually prefer Etsy over Shopify, the convenience. Uh, Etsy basically does it all for you. Uh, you don't have to build a website. You don't have to do anything, but just pay your fees and upload a listing. Um, extremely convenient. Shopify, uh, when I first started out at Shopify, I was so stressed out with the website because I've never, I've never created a website before. 
Um, so it was definitely something that I had to learn how to do. Um, but if you really want something, it takes work. Uh, so I was willing to stick it out. Uh, there were tears and frustration involved, but I, I pulled through. And so now I have, you know, a website. So another reason that I chose Shopify over Etsy is I really wanted my brand to become more established. So I know Etsy is more convenient, but with that convenience, there's higher transaction fees and there's also a huge marketplace full of competitors. So you do definitely pay for the convenience and it's a bittersweet thing. You're constantly competing over other people on Etsy. Um, so that was another reason why I wanted my own website. So more personal reasons is because I wanted to look more professional. So at the point when I decided I wanted even if to be an actual brand and business, I decided the best way to establish that was having my own website. So even though Shopify is a little less convenient than Etsy and it's more difficult obviously to create your own website, at the end of the day, if you want your brand to be more established, having your own domain is everything. So I'm really glad that I decided to create my own website and to establish my brand further. Another reason that I choose Shopify because I love the idea of being able to customize my brand the way I want. Everything on Etsy looks the same. You don't really stand out much in my opinion. I feel like it's just a congested pool of just, it's just a huge marketplace, uh, which is great and it's also not. Um, like I said before, it's way more competitive. But on Shopify, you have the ability to customize and to make it your own. Like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you're doing what's best for you at this time. Don't compare yourself to other people. When I first started out on Etsy, that was what was best for me. I learned things, I was able to promote some of my work, which was great. So do what's best for you and what makes most sense and what allows you to bring in the most income. So those are the reasons why I choose Shopify over Etsy. Thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to the next video. God bless.